Today I'm showing you guys how to fix a generator surging problem, which sounds probably a little bit like this. And if this is your problem, stick around for a few minutes while we go over a few things on how to fix that using these three generators. So basically what happens is that you go to fire up your generator, and as soon as you turn off the choke, you'll see that it starts to idle up and down like this. And so what happens is, is that the low speed circuit that's on your carburetor gets plugged up from debris that happens to be in your fuel system. But sometimes the generator will actually run just fine when you turn off the choke or the eco mode and then you run it in the higher RPMs and it sounds just fine. So we'll go ahead and remove all three side panels real quick and we'll get started. And while you guys are here, be sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe if you guys wanna see more content that's coming out real soon. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Champion first and come back to the Predator in a minute. Now there's nothing wrong with the Champion generator. I actually simulated that test just to show you guys what it's like to do this procedure. It doesn't really take very long at all. We need to remove the jet, but that throttle stop screw that's right there is in the way. And we don't need very many tools, just a Phillips, a flathead, a little pair of pliers, and a piece of paper to write this down. We had to remove this throttle stop screw, which sits on top of basically that low speed jet. So we're gonna count how many turns out this particular screw is at by turning the screw in all the way to the seated position. So that would be one turn here's two turns now you see where we're going so now we're at three this would be four turns we'll continue on now we're at five turns and we're just about six turns out on that throttle stop screw so now we know where it sits so we can put it back to factory settings so now we can go ahead and remove it so we can get to that low speed jet so just be careful and not to drop this inside or else it could take you a few minutes to go looking for it so now that we set this aside, these little pair of pliers work perfect, but you can use a flathead screwdriver and just slightly pry it up on each side really carefully. But again, a little pair of pliers like this works really great. So what we're gonna do is just lightly grab onto it and slightly slide it straight up. That's all we have to do is pry it straight up and boom, out it comes. So that's all there is to get that little jet out. And now that we have this out, if you take a look, look how small the jet hole is that's actually on this little jet. It's not very big at all. And the slightest little piece of debris that's in your fuel system as it flows through that hole will get sucked down into the jet and then it'll plug it up, causing that lean running condition that we had earlier. And it doesn't take much. It's just the smallest little hole. So you can see it doesn't take the slightest bit of debris to plug it up. So we'll go ahead and unplug it now using a piece of wire. And when I mean a piece of wire, I mean one strand is all you need to unplug this. And you you don't want to use really anything too much bigger because you can damage the jet because the metal is soft that's in there. So all you have to do is take the one little strand, give it a couple pokes. You can use a little carburetor cleaner if you want as well, but don't use an air compressor because you can damage these things. And that's really all there is to do to unplug this and hopefully this will fix our problem. So now we'll go ahead and reinstall the jet taking care not to damage the two little o-rings that are on the jet itself. Then we'll just kind of let that fall into position. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line it up real quick, kind of like it was before. And then to get this reinstalled, you just push it down until it kind of clicks. And that's really about it. So now we'll reinstall that throttle stop screw and we'll put it all the way back down in the seated position. And you don't have to jam this tight, just get it to where it stops. And then we'll back it out six turns to where it was earlier and how it was at the factory settings. And then we can go ahead and put the hose back on and then we'll go ahead and take it outside to see if we fixed our problem. We're gonna go ahead and move over to that Predator real quick first to show you that because since this particular generator is almost identical to how you would do the Westinghouse, all you have to do is remove this hose and go ahead and do the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and skip the Westinghouse and move to the Predator. Now I've seen some people go ahead and remove the air box to get to the carburetor, but you don't really need to. This support bar is in our way, but you can take your hand, put it behind here, press against the air box, and now you kind of get a little room to work. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that hose and just kind of tuck this up and out of the way so we have room to work and it's not in our way. And then you get that long Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing while we're prying out on that little support bar. Now we have to put it all the way into the seated position and make sure you count those turns. And so this one was set at about four and a half turns out. So now that we figured out how many turns, we can go ahead and remove the throttle stop screw again. And we'll take those same pair of pliers and go ahead and lift out on this jet. Now, since you already saw this earlier and it is kind of hard to get the camera in position, you already kind of know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and take a look. It's slightly different than the Champion. But again, if you take a look at this little jet, look how small that little hole is. And again, these can plug up so easy. And I'm surprised there's not really an inline fuel filter on these. There really should be. That'd be one thing you could look into doing. But... 
For the most part, this job is pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and reinstall the throttle stop screw and we'll put it back down to the seated position and then back it out four and a half turns. But we still have to take that champion outside to see if that thing is actually working. So we'll finish up here real quick and now we'll take that champion out and see what we got. So as we fire this up, this was already running just a couple minutes ago and it didn't take long to fix it all. And you can see that it sounds good so far and it's running on that eco mode. We'll go ahead and turn that off. That way we know it runs on the other mode. And there it is, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. Be sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe if you wanna see more. And until then, I hope to see you guys next time.